it's 9 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day Orlando. Okay, St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner. And if you're looking for a good time with uh, some great St. Patty's Day recipes with a twist, you don't want to miss this. Coming up, a local chef's going to show us how to take the traditional corned beef and make a tasty meal. Our good friends from two days are in the house. It's coming up right here on Good Day Orlando. 9.55 here on Good Day Orlando. If you plan on cooking a traditional corned beef dinner for St. Patrick's Day, chances are you're going to have maybe a few leftovers. Not too many, though. That's right. So why not make a delicious sandwich with that corned beef and cabbage? Figure out a way to do it. Christine Moore from 2 Days joining us this morning to show us how it's done, how the experts do it. Because I tell you what, not anything I make at home is not going to be nearly as good as what you guys do in the restaurant. It's well, just not. We appreciate that for sure, Amy. <laughs> uh, corned beef definitely is a process. So you start with the beef brisket cut and brine it for upper... Uh, upwards of 72 uh, hours. Ooh, so we uh, need to start working on right, this like now. now. Absolutely. Now is the Patrick's time to Day start. Is Monday. I didn't even know that <laughs> much for sure. Hey, can you tell me what corned beef is first of all? I don't even know. Right. Absolutely. That comes from the beef brisket cut from the cow and uh, it's about the upper shoulder area. Um, and again, we start that and uh, brine it for 72 hours and then you boil it off until it's fully cooked. Um, again, it, depending on how tender you want it, um, you can cook it for longer or shorter period of time. Hmm. All right. I want it to melt in my mouth. So you got to do the 72 hours to do that. Uh, huh? Uh, uh, brining for 72 hours and then boiling until fully cooked. Okay, wow. Boiling. Okay, so where, where do you start? You make the perfect sandwiches over there too, Jace. Where do you start to make it perfect at home? We, we do, absolutely. Well, we get our product in uh, that's made specifically for us, um, and then we start with a 4-inch wide by 12-inch long, and we roll our sandwiches. That's a signature plate presentation that we've had since uh, we opened in 1981. So we start with our fresh-baked rye bread. Uh, we sell over 240,000 loaves of rye bread a year. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and then we, we gently roll and the, the meat we uh, put on a, on a slicer and we cut it as thin as possible without shredding. That way, like you said, Amy, it melts in your mouth and uh -huh. it pulls apart nice and easy. That's a good looking sandwich. And then without pressing <laughs> down too hard on it, that's the presentation nice, on that. Nice. And then we always go finish it off with the perfect four ounce scoop of coleslaw. And you got and a dill pickle, and a pickle. spear, yeah. and you are ready How many to Rubens rock. Do you guys sell? You guys are like the king <laughs> of the Reuben sandwich. Uh, we do. We do sell a ton of Reubens. All corned beef sandwiches combined, we're looking at well over 500,000 sandwiches a year. Hey, well, I want to learn one more thing. We got about 30 seconds left. The sure. name Two J's. What is that? Uh, our original owners uh, both shared the common moniker of their name J, and they combined that and uh, came up with Two J's. I love it. Now 24 we know. locations around the state of Florida. Man, it's so good. Uh, the hot turkey melt's my favorite, by the way. In case Thank you're you curious. very much. <laughs> and I, I would imagine if you're coming in on St. Patrick's Day, it's going to be packed. Huh? So get there it, it will now. be busy, absolutely. And we uh, we do feature one item uh, just this time of year, which is our Murphy's Chowder. Mm. And you can get the corned beef and cabbage and Murphy's Chowder for 13 Have to leave it at week. that. All Two right. J's, thanks so much. Have a great week.